Rob here. Do you know there are three texts you should absolutely never send a girl? I'm gonna tell you all three texts and the reason they are gonna blow your chances with that beautiful girl. Now, it's incredibly frustrating. You get a woman's number and she seems to be, you know, totally into you, but then a couple texts go by and next thing you know, things go cold. The natural reaction is to, you know, a lot of guys blame the woman, call her a flake, whatever. But chances are you have bad text game. In fact, you're probably like most guys that you're probably sending one or a few of the absolute worst texts you could possibly send a woman. Sending these sorts of texts are gonna kill your chances with that beautiful girl that you wanna meet up with. So let's talk about text number one, the boring and passive text. The texts that are like, hey, how's your day going? Now, a common mistake most guys make when they're texting a girl is that they mistake responses for attraction. Often when a guy is getting a response from a woman or a girl that he finds attractive, he believes that he's getting closer to get her out on a date and to, you know, seducing her. Usually the exact opposite is true though. The more texts you send before meeting up with a girl means the less of a chance you actually have of meeting up with her. That's right. Even if a girl's responding to your texts, you're not getting yourself any closer to actually getting her out on a date. Instead, you want to say more with less. Whenever you're considering what to text a girl, see if you can say it more simply, less lines with less text. Most guys send these pointless texts to women like, how's your day? Or enjoy in this warm weather? These texts do not bring you any closer to meeting up with a woman. All they're doing is begging for a response. To make sure you never again waste text on pointless chatter, ask yourself this golden question. How is this text bringing me and this girl any closer to a date? If your answer is something like, oh, to simply get to know her better, it's not helping you. So don't send those sorts of texts. The second types of texts are the lame and desperate texts. Like, I'm looking forward to our date this weekend. Did you get my last text? Did you get my last text? Here is the simple truth. When a woman gives you her number, she is not signing some kind of social contract to go out with you again. And until it seems fun for her to meet up with you, she's probably not going to bother meeting up with you or even potentially responding to your text. So when you send boring texts that don't display any sort of personality and they fail to elicit any sort of emotion in her, in her mind, you're not even worth the trouble of meeting up with. Here are some signs that you're not being fun or a woman's not going to find you fun. Ask yourself, are you being stiff? Are you being formal? Are you putting too much pressure on her to keep the conversation going? Are you badgering her with questions? Remember, every text you send should make talking to you or responding seem like the fun option. Allow her to escape from her day-to-day -day boredom. Text number three, you have no sense of style. Texting things like, you're cute. Uh, because if you're texting an attractive woman, you're not the only guy texting her. Like, I hate to break it to you, but there are a lot of other guys pursuing her, you know, from her ex-boyfriends to her co-workers to classmates to just random guys. She's got so many guys vying for her attention that if you, don't, if you want to stand out, your texts have to display your personality, your unique style. She should know it's a text from you just from reading it on our lock screen without even seeing who it's from. You do that with punctuation, with emoticons, with all these different things that are uniquely you. You want to get all that into your text to inject that personality. Because everything you're sending a woman is trying to get you closer to meeting up with you, trying to get her closer to seeing you as the, uh, like we said before, the fun option. So in another video, I'm going to teach you what, something called the key lock sequence. Now, this is something I, I invented that there are three specific texts and it's quickly going to get a woman to want to come out and really want to come back to your place. So if you want to watch the video that explains that key lock sequence, go to magneticmessaging.com.